What's up, guys? What's your gamer 997 here? Tonight we're back on MV The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play the show. Gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. Dan Pleasak, what's the word on it? Zach Wheeler on the mound, 9-6 record, 3.64 ERA, not bad, not terrible, not good either. Here now the 2-2, hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. To the track and one to that track right there. So stepping in is It leaves things off here in the bottom half of the first. In the right field, that's the a base the ball, hit. The ball, the ball. One batter in, and the Cubs are going to have to handle a threat to run on the base paths. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first. After their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board, boys are flying around. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Here's a shot to left field. That's gone. Look at this. That's out of here. Alec Bowen. I was expecting him for him to strike out, but I guess he had different plans this time around. Straight away left, number 10 for him on the year, as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Alec knew that was gone. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Chicago. Next to stand in is Richard O'Neill. And the Phillies trying to make this first inning even better here. From the belt, the pitch sent on the ground out to second. All right, he's up. He's up. It. Oh, it pulls him off the bag. Oh, this is kind of unforgivable for the second baseman. He tries to square himself to the throw to the second and starts a double play. And I'm not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck, or maybe he just lost the grip. But the net result is Come on, go hard. You score. Two men go on hard. I ain't getting down. He ain't hitting a home run that time. Four, four. Put up five runs. Now at the plate, Javier Baez comes into this one sixth in the National League in home runs. Yeah, not a huge number last month. Hit five big ones. But having a great year in the home run category, and he looks like he is coming into his own as the season progresses. Yeah, this is a guy when you go into a pitcher's meeting before. Only five bombs last month for this guy, but he's capable of double that outfit, so you need to always... Crazy. 
and that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Happ with a swing and he connects, sends this one to deep right field. Out of here into the visitors' bullpen. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo flew out last time up. Anthony Rizzo. The 0-1 pulled toward right center field. Harper giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's going to Stepping in, Richard O'Neill. He flew out in his last AB. Almost, man. He almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just oh, missed it. Jam. This guy's big power. Oh, He's jam. Good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Next to hit is Jake Mariz now. Oh, for two for him to this point. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. That's a nice game is dragging ass so much. Over two from him so far in this one. Gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And Segura will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Next, it'll be Richard O'Neill. He's got one hit in four at bats. Now, the first pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. <laughs> On one, sending it high and deep to right. Out of here. As they add still another. Number 25. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 25 for him on the year as they push this lead up to nine now. in this one as he takes the loss. The Phillies thank you for attending. MLB The Show has baseball for you under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, game two of this three-game series. No one on with one down. And that will bring up the multi-gold lover, Jason Hayward. High fly ball out to straightaway center. O'Neill is there, two gone. Now to the plate, here is Richard O'Neill. Comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. 
What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous. Oh. We'll have to leave Fucking hate word. He's swinging too early now.
But it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 11 to 1 at the end of this one. The Phils led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Chris Archer gets to the We never wavered or looked back. We just kept year. driving Chris it on him. Struggled and gets the loss <laughs> after giving up six runs. <laughs> so that will wrap Perfect things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. From the city of brotherly love, MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series six and six and between 40. the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. Number three, one of the league's most prolific power hitters, continues his hunt for a home run crown. Next. Zach Eflin gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look he at it. He does a great like record. How about a win and three? 1.00 in his last three starts. Not a lot. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Richard O'Neill, past the All-Star break. We're batting in the four hole. The season, and he's having a sensational year, really tearing it up on both the mound and in the field. I mean, he's in rare territory. I couldn't have said it any better, Maddie. He's performing at a superstar level on both sides of the ball. This is just crazy. The gabber. This should score one, maybe two. And now well, this is scored one. one. They held up the dude. He probably would have made it home with the missed throw. Some big offensive numbers. Well, with the bad throwing, he's the problem made it. order to duplicate last night's performance, but don't give it a try. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Come on, 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 and the Phillies trying to make this first inning even better. Eddie Rosario. At least he's batting over the Mendoza line. 207. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Dickerson. And he's like, over. I'm just going to trot home. And he uses burn too much calories, use too much energy to run. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Left it into center field. O'Neill is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Next, here is Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Way too early on that hit. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. The 0-1 pitch. Swing no doubt. It's a no-doubter. Oh, we hit the ball. Get about it. This ball the foul is ball. Gone. It's still a no-doubter. <laughs> ring that bell. So yeah, ring that bell. <laughs> O'Neal is enjoying well, himself in the Look at that bad flip. Time. That bad I mean, flip is crazy. Runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five. Both the bad flips I pick is just crazy. They have a lot of ones that you can unlock, but most of them is for like one-handed swinging. Ready to take his hands again. Richard a two-run homer in his last at-bat. Line drive to center field. Again, a nice clean base hit. His third of the game. Damn, with that single, he's now three-quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. triple. Yeah, that's your set at zero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. Yes, he's tagged out here. Son of a bitch. 
kid that to throw it over while you fucking shimmying your ass off the bag. Oh, got on any that bad girl. <laughs> Chicago at home weekend he broke the brooms out on him. He still has a chance to knock Another nice outing from him. Five to one, the final total in today's game. Philadelphia jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Zach Eflin pitches his way to a team leading 12th win of the year. So that'll do it for us for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watkins. All I needed was a triple, but I didn't get the bat in the eighth or the ninth. There's no doubt he's one of the biggest stories in the game right now. A two-way player thriving at the major league level. Al Leiter joins us now. Al, what would it mean for Major League Baseball to have one of its biggest stars be a two-way player? I think it would be phenomenal. I, 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 I've been a skeptic of two-way players just because I know how difficult it is. And we're seeing now with our own eyes that this guy's able to do it. And that is really special. And I can only equate it to... Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video and you love your girl to death, I would be really appreciate that you drop a like on the video. If you love your moms, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And most important of all, be kind to each other. Have a wonderful night. Peace. I think with knowing what he's done and how special.